Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the second episode to uh, <coughs> uh, Michonne Walking Dead. The Walking Dead Michonne. We made it to Sam's hideout. There's, turns out there's a few other people there. We met her father. There were a couple of siblings. We stopped the bleeding on Sam's shoulder through extreme measures, but she's okay for now. Or she's not. She's gone into shock, basically. And then... Michonne had a bit of a flashback. Turns out the flashback was her trying to find her daughters. Someone named Donna, someone that she knows, was just ambushed by a bunch of walkers. And she was talking to Michonne through phone. Let's continue to see what happens. And the flashback ended. Did, did you say Donna? You okay? Just thinking about someone I once knew. Let's just play along. It's okay. I do that too. John, he... He went to talk to the kids, make sure they're all right. While I watched over you. Sorry about this. John isn't big on people he doesn't know. That's fine. How are the kids holding up? I don't know. Can't be good. Their brother's dead, sister's shot. I mean, fuck, right? Well, shit. You're in hell now. So, yeah. This is where I apologize for almost shooting you. Well, thank you, ma'am. Now you're being Emphasis smart. On almost. I was just worried about Sam. You almost got us killed. Sam killed. I know that now. That's why I wanted to say sorry. Can't blame me for being cautious. Fair enough. You could be scary as fuck, you know. <laughs> That's If it makes nice. you feel any better, I'm not a great shot. That patch of dirt, his mom's buried there. A year or so back, she just... She was sick. Not in the head. Something with her heart. I see. Unrelated to everything that's happened here, perhaps. She couldn't handle it, I guess. I never understood that. We were safe here. I tried the same thing. But... I... couldn't do it. I've thought about it. How could you not? But like I said, bad shot. <laughs> It wasn't for Sam. No. No, Chris. I just need more time. More. No. Hmm. No. She's looking a little here, pale. Sam. Hey, don't move, okay? Don't move. I know she's fine. Sam, no. Mission, we have to help him. You're too weak. Me I just saw the uh, Parthenon and the Taj Mahal. Is that the Parthenon back there? Is that picture? I'm gonna Google it. Where's my phone? Damn it, it's far away. Parthenon? Is that a Parthenon or Parthenon? Whatever it is, it's probably in Greece. John can make a strong wow. first impression. Sydney, he's what's keeping Paris, this entire family from Statue of Liberty. There. These guys traveled a lot. 
You gotta fight like hell for what you care about, right? Oh, I can see the Empire State Building from there. Something that makes all this shit worth it. Yeah, fight until the day you die. Holy crap, I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> I'm looking at the pictures. I need a word with you. In private. JFK, SFO, San Francisco. New York. To California. Son? I do. Two little girls. Mm. It snowed the day my wife died. Her heart gave up. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow... It covered her grave. We erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids. But the past... It always seems to find you. How she can relate. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from home. But we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's... I could really use your help. That's very These kind. These kids deserve a real childhood. Some place where fear isn't the norm. If I can give them even a sliver of that... I'll die happy. You've got a good thing going here. Safe house. Nice family. It's more rare than you know. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg never turned into one of these things, did he? Are those... Whatever they are. He's at peace now. <gasps> Thank God. You could have just throw it over. Come on, dude. What the fuck? Close the damn ship. Close the damn door. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. Close the fucking door, what man. If you just found out your daughters were dead. And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. Your kids need you to stay strong. You, you're right. I'm all they have. <laughs> Not anymore. Peekaboo. That's fucked up, man. You just killed an innocent yeah. man. Wow, they need to die. Or this guy needs to fucking die. They killed an innocent man.
Yeah, that didn't make any noise. Take his gun. Fire. Oh, a flare gun. Nice try, buddy. He only has one shot left. Oh. Well, shit. I'm dead. Because I got shot by the leg. A shot on the leg. You're gonna waste your other, your last round on this guy. Oh snap! Kill this motherfucker. Whoa, this guy can fight. You can't just get him down. I feel like I'm playing Resident Evil 5. The scene where Chris punches the crap out of Wesker. Button sequence has to be right. You get a trophy after it. Holy motherfucker. Oh man, that's awful. Get your hands caught in the vice. Fuck. Dislocated her arm. <sighs> Kill him. Unless he could be useful. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna lose those hands in a while. Shit. You must be pretty proud of yourself, huh? Caught yourself a golden goose. Yeah. You don't mess around. <laughs> I like that. Pete, where is he? That fella liked talking so much, I gave him another hole in his head to do it with. I don't get it. I'm just fucking with you. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Someone should. Yeah. Tell her my hands are vice stuff, and I've swallowed a pint of my own blood. Yeah. I got a few words for her. I have your brother. Michelle. I hope you were smart enough not to hurt him. Oh, really? Where's my brother? Go on. Tell her. 
Don't spare any of the gory details. You're talking to me, not him. Don't be smart with me, Michelle. That wasn't what I asked. I want the truth on this. You hear me? Did you hurt him? If you so much as breathed on my brother, I'll find you and make what happened on the ferry look like a goddamn picnic! Randall shot an innocent man in the head. Anything I did to him, he deserved. What Randall did, that was a mistake. And I'll make sure he knows it. But I'll punish him, not you. Okay, 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 okay. Let's wind this down, then. If you've had his walkie-talkie the whole time, then you already know. We heard the shots. We know where you are. But if you let Randall go, maybe we can all walk away. What about Pete? Randall is the only family I have, and I'm not leaving him behind, one way or the other. As long as Randall keeps his shit together, then we can work something out. It's up to him. Be reasonable, Michonne. That's all I ask. We'll be there soon. What about Pete? You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. And last but not least, those kitties too. This guy is sick in the fucking head. I saw their little heads in the window. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt. Guess I hit a button. What? Michonne. Well, hey now, don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. Holy shit. Got a big hole there now. Sean, is that true? Please tell me he's fucking with us. There was nothing I could do, Sam. No! 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 no. Damn! If he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Shones just fumbled around like a bear cub fucking a football. Randall killed my dad. He made Zachary kill Greg. He's more than earned being beaten to death. You need to kill him. Or I will. You will not do anything, Sam. Sam, wait! Well, <laughs> I ain't I had the bail of the ball. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing me. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You won't hurt my feelings. Well, maybe, maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. And you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. 
some biblical shit, ain't it? There's still a chance we can make things better. I don't know why I said that. Tell me you still believe that lie, Michelle. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. <gasps> Or died in, or are in that rockin' purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about them. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't there. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us. Keep that wrench far away from him. Guess that means the dance is over. Oh well, no one will be here soon. Your funeral. I figured it would end here. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean, nasty. You want to believe all lives and all things have a purpose. Believe me, they don't. It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down. Hmm. 90% of players let Pete go. Very well. That's the end of episode two. That ended pretty fast, roughly about an hour. But <laughs> the other episode is already released because it's been too long since I got back to this. I was playing this. But stay tuned to the next episode. Have a good one.